This video is sponsored by SellCashier.com. SellCashier pays top dollar for your used iPhone. Get a quote, ship your phone, and get paid. It's that simple. What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. And uh, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to pair uh, a pair of Bluetooth headphones in this instance right here I got some Beats by Dre headphones how to pair Bluetooth headphones with your uh, your device and this can be this is the same procedure you would use to pair them with your your computer uh, any device whether it's an Android device an iPhone device um, an iPhone anything like that any any type of device that uses Bluetooth this is basically the steps you would probably need to take in order to sync the, with the Bluetooth and like I mentioned the example I'm giving you here is I'm going to be demoing this with the Beats by Dre headphones but most headphones work the same exact way and then the only difference might be the button that you would use that you press in order to ena enable it to, to start syncing or looking for the device or for your device to sync up to it so let me give you guys a quick demo of how this actually works all right, guys. So first off, I have a pair of Beats Solo 2 headphones. This, this same procedure would work with uh, if you have a pair of Studios uh, or the Studio Bluetooth uh, headphones. So basically, you turn it on right here. Press the power button. You see the light coming on there, so it shows you that it is powered up. So you see on, on this light over here, it's blinking. That means it's not paired with anything yet. So if you hold down the B on this other side right here. So now I'm going to go to my device, go to my Bluetooth settings. And I have turned my Bluetooth on, and there it goes. Beats by Dre, Beats Solo Wireless. You click on that, give it a few seconds. It shouldn't ask for a passcode or anything. And that's it. I'm connected. And that's how you connect your Bluetooth headphones to your device. And this would be the same process you would use for anything. Whether it's an Android device, you just go into the Bluetooth settings on the Android device, the, the headphones should pop up in the list. And like I mentioned, this can work with any pairs of headphones. I, I am demoing this with the Beats by Dre, but most other pairs of headphones either have a special Bluetooth button that you press and it'll start to, to strobe. Usually what I notice on most Bluetooth headphones is the light will be red and blue and it'll change, go between the two. With the Beats, it's just a solid white light right here. Okay, And usually, with most pairs of headphones, you can usually sync them up to multiple devices. So I can sync it up to my phone, I can sync it up to my computer, and depending on which device is on or which is searching for the, the, the headphones, I can use the, the pair of headphones with multiple devices. So that's based on the headphone, to, based on from headphones to headphones. So not all headphones work that way, but some do work that way. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's all you have to do. For the Beats, you just turn them on, hold on the B button on the, on the what is this, the right ear, the left ear. Hold on the left ear, and that light will start strobing real fast. And then you look, go into your phone and your Bluetooth settings. It should show up in the list. You click it, and that's it. And now anytime uh, I turn on the pair of headphones, as long as my Bluetooth is on on my device, it should automatically sync up, and you won't have to do it again. You'll just, it'll just click on. It'll, it'll give you an audible uh, tone on the Beats by Dre. They have like a weird uh, a sound it makes in the headphones themselves to let you know that it's connected. So if you hear that sound, you know you're good to go, and it'll start playing music right through the, the pair of headphones. So if you guys have any questions about this procedure, if you guys have any issues with this, post them down below in the comments. I've been getting requests to do a, a Bluetooth syncing video for quite some time now. Um, I didn't think it was that big of an issue, but I've gotten quite a few comments on my other videos of Bluetooth headphones with people that have issues or they're getting confused on how to do that. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Like I said, put them down. Any questions you may have down in the, the description. Uh, in the comment section, I should say. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date with all of my content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.